friends. Hello, everyone. We are going back into this hobbity well. <laughs> I've got my tea. I'm killing off characters with my tea. In this case, the character I might be killing off over and over and over again might be Bilbo. Gabby, of course I am ready to jump into even more abysses. It's funny because uh, chapters one and two are at least, you know, based on chapters from the text proper. <laughs> um, you know, character killing, it's not just for George R.R. R. Martin anymore. There I am. <laughs> Hello, hey. Gabby. Welcome Wonderful. back this time behind the paywall. <laughs> oh, okay. So that slime doesn't hurt you. You just slime... Slide Evidently through it. not. Like it's it's green, so it looks dangerous. But I guess it's just uh, it's green for go, not green for god <laughs> dead. Yeah. Did I trigger those moving platforms? Is that what I did there with that go. Witch King crystal? I think those platforms yes. were moving earlier. No, they weren't. They were stationary. And it looks like they also don't fall into the abyss like the other platforms do. So yeah, Progress. interesting. Oh no! Oh, but I'll fall into the abyss. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, something's got to fall into the abyss. It's either going to be the platforms or it's going to be Bilbo. Today it was Bilbo. This game is less broken than I expected it to be. It's more just tedious. It's not like that the <laughs> controls are particularly egregious or anything. It's not like it's just that the actual running around platforming and figuring things out has just as much that's boring as it does that's interesting. Don't get him started on the sneaking around the trolls. Hopefully there's nothing else like that again. You're probably going to do the same thing with Smaug. Most likely, if I even get that far before giving up. I mean, it would be kind of out of character for Bilbo to have a good jump, but it does just show how weird it is that, uh, they turned the Hobbit into a platformer and not into uh, some sort of RPG. More, yeah, or even a more traditional adventure game. We are finding the <laughs> trolls' cave after they've been turned to stone, and we're not we're not in the cave where the trolls' treasure is. We are in a cave leading to that cave, apparently. A cave that goes to another cave. It's Caveception, and. <laughs> Yeah, this is why I saved. See, the thing is, I think they were trying to go for a Zelda-like here, and they just fell short. <laughs> fell short. Yeah, 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 I'm doing a lot of falling short myself. I know, right? You'd think this is, like, in the Misty Mountains, but no, we're we're still in Chapter 2 of the book here. Maybe I'm not supposed to jump to that one from there. Yeah, you might be, because I noticed I'm, I'm, that, like, there's other platforms that you go to. Yeah, I... I, I might be miscalculating. Yeah. Like, you so, see yeah, how there's, are... like, other ropes over there? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, because that is a little too yeah. far, question mark? I mean, yeah, it's, it's a tad too Let's far. Let's see. Or, you well, know, I... we could be both No matter wrong. which way I jump, I could just keep dying. You could just keep jumping into the abyss. Or, you know that spot where there was, like, another Witch King Crystal or something over there? <laughs> or, uh... <laughs> that one was just for fun. <laughs> That was just a that was just a test to see if you could still die. Because there's the key I think I'm ultimately trying to get to, if I yeah. remember correctly, even though I barely remember. I did not watch back the previous stream before this one to Yeah, we're trying to get the key so that we can get into like the troll cave because I guess it's locked with a key or something. Or stings in there. You know, if I <laughs> <laughs> I have nobody to blame but myself uh, <laughs> at this point. I'm just jumping impatiently. <laughs> um, My hobbits can't jump. I could not tell you if Witch King crystals are something that Tolkien came up with, but they do not sound familiar to me. The Witch King is, you know, the head of the Nazgul. Um, but I do not recall any mention of him having crystals. But again, you know, I haven't read all the ancillary work. In the middle of the earth in the land of a shire lived a bad little hobbit who could not <laughs> jump higher. I don't recall them being mentioned unless there's some um, subtle reference to them the way like that the necromancer was retconned to be. There we go. Oh, woo! Oh, but this one's falling. Great. The way the necromancer was retconned to be Sauron. Um, so they weren't in The Hobbit earlier this year, but just you wait. They'll be added uh, three years from now somehow. <laughs> Peter Jackson's <laughs> going to get a hold of it again and be like, I'm going to remake it. 
what people didn't realize about uh, Bezos buying the TV rights to Lord of the Rings is it also gave him the right to just retcon the text as much as he wanted. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jackson's going to pull Lucas. Boromir's going to kill an orc person. <laughs> McClunky. McClunky. Gondor has no McClunky. <laughs> One does not uh, simply McClunky to Mordor. It would help if this cave did not look so repetitive. <laughs> this does not look like a jump I can make. Yeah. It sure isn't. Even though there's just like a gem down there's there. There's a gem right there. And yet, how did you drown? Your face <laughs> was not even in the water. That vine is just going to continuously go down. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, maybe maybe I follow it down. And that's how I get that gem. Yeah. And nothing else of consequence. This game may have nothing to do with the Jackson movies, but Jackson did follow this tradition of rushing past the stuff that's in the book The Hobbit and padding out unnecessary sequences that aren't in the book. (laughs) I can't wait for the five-hour cut of the first Hobbit with this whole thing in it. Because, I mean, the extended edition is the extended edition, but you got to get to the more extended edition where Bilbo just keeps falling into the Black Abyss and dying when he's trying to get to the Chult. Troll cave. Bilbo falls from a great height over and over <laughs> the series. I mean, this is exactly what uh, J.R. Tolkien obviously yeah. intended for this to happen, right? Up and down again, a Hobbit's holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be really funny if by the end of this live stream we get absolutely no farther than we were when we started the stream? <laughs> know, right? It's like two hours later and we're still in this stupid fucking cave. I have not been able to successfully jump onto that platform, but I really think this is the only way to get there. It's from here. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save save state here and just keep keep, keep going. Yeah. Oh, you did so, it! So that time it worked. What did I do differently? I could not tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Bilbo suddenly remembers that he can hang on to objects. <laughs> Bilbo remembered to use his hands. <laughs> the, key. the key! We found the witch key in this big ass cave down in the Misty Mountain. Yay, Watch thanks. out, there's the spoop spikes. I- yeah, I forgot this was full of, like, Legends of the Hidden Temple stuff. We're, we're in Indiana Jones. Which crystals sound like something that Indiana Jones would go and find? This game doesn't give you anything. It doesn't hold your hand. No. But it also is not challenging in particularly interesting ways. It just is. It exists. Yeah. Wasn't there, like, a long jump I could do? Yeah, the pull, you pull vault. With your stick. Yes, that's right. You don't throw rocks, you you pole vault. I forget which button combination it was. Look, we're actually almost getting somewhere. So this is not the time (laughs) to stop the current emulator. We're we're actually moving forward. We're almost getting back to something that actually happened in the book. You might also want to use your health potion at some point. Oh yeah, I got that, don't I? Yeah. Every time Bilbo spins around that little rope like that, it's just, it's like he's on a little stripper pole. There and you it's go. It's the Hobbit after dark. <laughs> Ow. Freaking wolves. Well, it's a good thing they're wolves and not those weird little frog freak things. Oh, yeah. Those guys. Or those, um, like, armadillos. Bilbo has so much blood on his hands already. Hey. I got Sting. Naming him uh, much earlier than you do in the book, but... You know, I'll take it. So wait, you don't even go in there? You get the key, but they (laughs) don't show you going in there? And the sword just appears in my hand. It just (laughs) happens? I think this is exactly what Tolkien envisioned, Charlie. I think this is, uh, I think Tolkien expected the audience to fill in all the jumping and falling in their own (laughs) minds. Oh, we're not actually going to get to see Rivendell? No. Of course just, not. Again, we're just rushing through the shit that's in the book. That's a straight up sketch. They didn't even finish that. <laughs> they realized they could save time by just putting the concept art in the game. Over hill and under hill. And in between hill. You know, there are a lot of adaptations that raise the question, what's wrong with Bilbo's face? <laughs> And Notting Hill, and Post Hill, and Silent Hill, and the Hill Between yes. Hills. Okay, the cast of Notting Hill in The Hobbit, obviously Hugh Grant is Bilbo. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Gandalf just like staring straight ahead when I'm down here? <laughs> like, will you please give both for a hand? Gandalf is actually blind. Hello, Bilbo. Yes, of course. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Put that there. <laughs> that was for nobody. <laughs> they knew you were going to be there. This is the part with the goblins, right? In theory, we're getting to that in the narrative, but uh, we'll see um, how much more padding they put before that. This is uh, the part where... The book offhandedly mentions stone giants, and the movie turns that into a whole fucking sequence. And All right. They go in, sure enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Oin. Very cool. Shoehorned in Ghibli hey. reference. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. I know. I really feel like Rivendell would have made for a very good bonus level. And yes. It's like you, you start out in the Shire. Yeah. And, yeah. I mean, you learn the mechanics in the Shire, but that was a nice little breather room, even if it did get a little bit old, you know? It also was, like, a different landscape than all these other levels, which, after the Shire, have all kind of looked the same. The only difference mm -hmm. being, are they indoors or outdoors? <laughs> Rude oh. dwarves. Yeah, she's Dory. You can go find Nemo on your own. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excuse away, me. burglar. That's going to be my new car alarm sound. Just <laughs> away, burglar. <laughs> away, burglar. There's the okay, fire. I presume one of you is Bofer. There's Bofer. Perhaps we need dry firewood. Brilliant deduction, Bilbo. Perhaps dry Wonderful. firewood. It, I'm, I, no. Wait, now I'm trapped out. Oh, I see. During that one cutscene, <laughs> the pony they, they moved around. Turned you around. This level's barely even started. The thing Ocarina of Time did well is it had a little map in the corner so you could maintain your sense of direction. Sierra, they, they I guess the development was just too much for that. I don't know. Yeah, when he <laughs> says Bomber's making him hungry, he means that he looks like a giant turkey leg <laughs> in that, you know, cartoon on a desert island sort of way. <laughs> Expert, Expert sword tactics. The sequel to Final Fantasy Tactics. Expert sword tactics. It's all about swords. You know, <laughs> here's the thing. The early Sierra games, the King's Quest and what have you, were frustrating in interesting ways. This one, the frustrating parts are just boring. Up oh, here we go. We Here comes the padding. <laughs> it's interesting how they didn't like how they didn't like make that into like a little level itself where you were like sliding around it was like one of the harry potter games you know you won't you just said there's no going back you went from there's no going back to here's the way back in like two seconds there's no turning back now just kidding here's a little path right here oh wait my mistake there is turning back it's just long and tedious turning back i have sting and it's glowing and i'm dying all right we we come they ate each ya. other now that i'm dead they're like shit we didn't plan for this what did we do now we didn't expect to win i feel like sting is not that much more effective against the wolves than the stick is you would think it would be much more effective because it's a glowing blue sword. You would think. It's not a name. If there's one thing I've learned from Star Wars, it's that glowing blue swords cut off arms. This doesn't cut shit. So this alcove was just where wolves were hanging out. How did they yeah. get here? They're special mountain wolves. The goblins found them and tried to domesticate them, but it failed. Yeah, so. well. I'm kind of sad that it's not Troll Hole anymore. If nothing, because I like the name Troll Hole. I mean, I'm glad to be out of the Troll Hole, but so far this is not much of a step up. Mm -mm. Let's see, do I pole vault over there? Is that what I need to do? It looks like you could just jump, but if you want to be safe, I'd pole vault. Let's find out the hard way, shall we? Ah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you can just jump. Also, there's like a little step right there just in case you missed it. It looks like it anyway. Oh, or and I missed the step. Okay, all that's down there is a treasure chest, and I'm sure whatever's in it is not worth looking mm -hmm. for. What's your favorite part about falling into the abyss? Because I think my favorite part is just <laughs> how slowly it fades out after you do so. Yeah, I think that's honestly the best part. Second, maybe how easy it is to just fall into an abyss. You know, I'm sure the design intention was to have the player be able to tell what water is safe and what water is dangerous. But, but um, nothing is really clear here because yeah, it got dark. That, that goal got lost in translation. I know he's trying to look for a way back, but it just looks like it's going back down the mountain. So Bilbo can be just like, up yours, doors. I'm on an adventure on my own. Goodbye. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I want adventure in the great wide, somewhere that's far away from dwarves. I want it more than I can tell. Bilbo <laughs> and the Beast. We we are apparently close enough to goblins for Sting to be glowing, but not close enough for us to actually see any goblins. So, uh, or maybe that's just Sting's default is just to glow in this version of the legendarium do you think like sierra would have had the resources to make it glow like that (laughs) to have it glow only sometimes yeah to it for the vine bilbo (laughs) (laughs) you took fall Um, damage let's get that angle again (laughs) we come to you live from inside bilbo's hair as you can see there's nothing really going on up there Well, there's nothing going on up there, (laughs) imagination-wise. Well, as you can see right now, um, Bilbo is uh, floating. (laughs) Bilbo can fly! He's standing on a (laughs) ledge that is wearing the ring, so... The ring of power can also affect objects. If there's, like, a finger-shaped part of them. Yeah. Oh, oh, now Bilbo's sleepy. Bilbo is ready for a nap. Who could blame him? Yeah, I'm feeling it too, Bilbo. That is the (laughs) ring of a carpenter. He has chosen wisely. Oh, cutscene. Stone giants. I brought him, and I don't bring things that are of no use. I've never heard of sunk cost fallacy. (laughs) All right. Okay, well, this... (laughs) Yay! (laughs) <laughs> I'm almost like, fuck this shit, I'm just gonna kill myself. I'd rather kill myself than just deal with these guys. Dave, did you freeze? Your camera- oh no. Oh no, it's just me! Hi guys! I am taking over the last days of Token Adaptation Month. I'm back. My connection was glitching out, but only on the phone. Okay, no worries. So what does a, uh, <laughs> a- Dead caps, you need to move on. <laughs> well, yeah, I, and now Bilbo's dead too. <laughs> Certain pickups imbue your throwing stones with extra powers for a short amount of time. The timer on the stone inventory icon in the upper right displays. Are, um, why are you are, giving me this information in the middle of being pelted by giant rocks? Are you are you expected to fight rock with rock? Is this a fight fire with fire situation? I don't even know where I am. What's up here? I guess you just Ah, go from vine to vine because they're just hitting that. I'm Tarzaning it. I'm George of the Jungling it. (laughs) Yeah, I feel like George of the Jungle will be more apt here. Oh, and I feel like at this point, firewood is the least of our concerns because I think it was in the book where he also got where he was also getting firewood. We just got a camera angle. (laughs) That put me inside Bilbo's skull, and I could see the inside of his face. And that was terrifying for a split second. (laughs) Oh, Oh, these vines vines don't last. That's good to know. I hope you uh, safe-stated. I did, not not long ago. Okay. If they look dead, don't trust them. Yeah. If they look dead, they'll drop you on your head. Don't, Giants, you're making a bridge for me. What? Sure. That was easy. Okay. Yo, a weak ass pillar. Yeah, that's right. Fuck you, pillar. Thank you, stone guys. You made my escape for me. Hey, stop taunting them while you're in the middle of wolves, dude. The problem with fire rocks is that by the time I realize I have them, it's it takes me too long to equip rocks as my inventory item. Yeah, it's it's pointless. And I mean, you have Sting. I feel like Sting should be the more important one. That rock definitely landed on me, not on the pillar. Yeah. It's the, it's the same energy the as um, a magic lamp. Maybe if I just rub it and wish. Thank you, Stone Giants. You've made my escape for me. And thank you, Stone Giants has the same energy as... Uh, the Homer in the Simpsons movie. Thank you, boob lady. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Rain rocks keep falling on my head. Just like a hobbit who was looking to be dead. Like a bridge over troubled hobbits. Yeah, that was... Okay, don't waste my time with fire rocks. I'm just going to skip the wolves and... Well, go to the or, other you know, you could just... Uh, <laughs> is this what they meant by out of the frying pan and into the fryer? Yeah, I mean... Those wolves aren't supposed to be until after the, uh, the yeah. Misty Mountains. You're not supposed to be here canonically. Die! <laughs> Let's take a moment and, uh... Sorry, wolves, you don't have an inventory. You can't just pause the game like I can. 
I've got those Zach Morris freeze frame powers. <laughs> you would think that the Rock Giants rocks would be able to hit the wolves. <laughs> <laughs> it puts the potion on its skin. Put the potion in the basket. Okay. Nope. What? what? How was that a one-shot kill? What? Where did that come from? Did I get struck by lightning just now? One of the things I appreciate about Super Mario 3D World for the Switch, when you're struggling with a level at a certain point, when you respawn, they'll give you like basically an invincibility suit. So you can just get through the level and have fun. <laughs> and it feels like this game is doing the opposite. It this feels game like, is just, like, telling you to go fuck yourself every single it, time. It feels like this game is noticing me struggling with this part, and then, therefore, it is deciding you're just going to die even faster each time. <laughs> I think we lost you again, Dave, because I can't... The, you, you seem frozen. Phone's glitching again. Okay. I, <laughs> Dave is dead. <laughs> I can still hear his voice. Perhaps I could trick the stone giants into making a bridge for me. Come on, stone giants, I fucking dare ya. Do it. Thank you. I, I'm so glad that I can be a stand-in Warwick Davis. A taller Warwick Davis, if you will. A non-British Warwick Davis. A younger Warwick Davis. Hey, hey I'm back. What did I miss? <laughs> I apparently do a good Warwick Davis impression. Ah, well, you can be the understudy for that, uh, for the ADR understudy for that new Willow series. Yay! I can be the, uh, the, the taller lady version of, um, of Warwick Davis. <laughs> when they do the Paul Feig reboot, you can be taller lady Willow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering if the lightning is like one of those artificial barriers where it's like, no, you can't do this until you've done this other part. Maybe. And instead of, you know, giving him a message, oh, I can't do that right now. I have to wait. It just kills you because yeah. it this game hates you. Yeah. This is a game that hates its players and is just like, screw you. Just die. I'm going to try this one more time. It, it, it struck you with like the lightning and then you got hit with the rock. <laughs> this is like a one, two, three punch right there. So maybe I can't do anything until I kill all the wolves. I guess. But I can't kill all the wolves if I keep getting pelted by rocks. <laughs> exactly. There was a point where you stood by one of those pillars and the way it got hit, it looked like an erect penis and sure. it just hit it. And I, I think that's like a way up. It was like that well, pillar over there, except. Yeah, I, I just can't remember where that pillar was. But yes, we've got um, we've got very phallic pillars and we've got pole dancing Bilbo and <laughs> the dwarves were talking about how wet they are. So there's some Somebody sublimation was horny. going on. Somebody was horny making this game. Oh, it was this one, wasn't it? This yeah, one it had... was. Yeah. See? There we go. Oh, oh no. God. Okay, no, I know the way to go now. Mm -hmm. I need to climb the erection. <laughs> I have uh, I have yet to find any slash fic about myself, um, but if it's out there, I'm sure now I've got to climb the erection is being added to the lexicon. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. and that's the cave that you were in, so now you right. gotta go climb that thing back up. The wolves are just like, hey, wait a minute, okay. gotta climb. Okay, you gotta I climb the erection. Off. I <laughs> keep gotta, slipping you, off. You keep slip, get, slipping off the erection. I mean, maybe I'm oh, just Jesus. too wet. <laughs> anyway, as I continue to ruin everything for everyone, I mean, I'm legitimately shocked that I've never found any slash fic of me and Tony yet. <laughs> Watch, somebody but. is somebody out there is going to see the stream one day. Yeah. They'll, they'll subscribe to your Patreon, and then they're just going to be like, I'm on it. Here we go. I'm not saying I'm asking for it. I'm just saying I'm surprised no, it course. has yet to happen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. More wolves. Are there, and there's still rocks pelting shit at you. Maybe you can just yeah. hit it with the... They're, they don't seem interested. Maybe you can just pelt them. See, now that I've got some semblance of shelter, I can at least do the stone throwing. That was easy. Yeah, but... If, oh, didn't mean to throw that one. <laughs> but of course, whenever I get, like, the magic fire, I, you know, am not in a position where I can do that safely. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Yeah, you got a save state right here. He just throws Sting up. What? Where? Where what? is that? Huh? We just cut to a seemingly unrelated Wait, location. Like, oh, it's right there. 
that thing. Ah, I see. And now I'm down here. Where? Oh, oh these what? guys. These little these these little fellas. Well, these guys are easy to kill. So yeah, the little little grumbling dudes. The little Siamese cat salamanders. Okay, they're easy to kill when they stand still long enough to be killed. Oh, look, there's more of them. It's a good thing they're easy. Feeding frenzy. These things are probably extras in the Cimmerillion. <laughs> I just like the idea of the appendices just being like one of those old, like early video game manuals that just tells you the stats of all the uh, all the different types of creatures and how to defeat them. Meanwhile, Thorn Oak and Shield is just like, where the fuck is Bilbo? Where is that blasted burglar? He's just phasing through solid matter right now. If any of this is canon, Bilbo really was a lot more adventurous early on than the dwarves gave him credit for. So I guess out here, back into the abyss is where I'm supposed to go. Even though the only function of the stone giants in the book was to get them to go into a cave. All right. There's a lightning strike. So I got a pole vault when I have uh, the space to do so. Or, you know, you can just die too. That's a... I I like how I died mid-jump. Of course. I saved slotted more recently than this. Yes. Not much more recently, but more recently enough. I guess this was that floor looks weak. That floor looks weak. Where was the floor that looks weak? Could have been. It was like right here, right? Yeah, it was right there. There we go. Dangerously thin. That floor floor looks dangerously thin. That floor has an eating disorder. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) And there you are. Standing on it at the time. There's the little guys. The little guys. The little guys that are just. I think these ones look like the most fun to kill because they they go down with one strike. Yeah, they go down pretty easily and they don't cause that much damage before you yeah. swap them. Yeah, they're just like, and they look at they they hop around. They're just little guys. That they're just silly like little guys. I love a good silly little guy. A good silly yeah. little guy enemy. I feel like that is the problem with the original text, is that Tolkien didn't create enough silly little guys. <laughs> I was about to say. I feel like I could read the similar Cimmerillion if there were just <laughs> way more silly if, little guys in there and less if biblical it was the silly style. Marillion. The silly Marillion. Exactly. Okay, you think I can grab onto that ledge there? Yeah, I think so. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. <laughs> it, I don't blame you. The, oh, yeah, again, it looked like the ones that you could just grab. Like from no, earlier it does. in the level. It very much does. And um That makes me so mad. Like I'm not even playing this game and it makes me mad for you. <laughs> I am mad on your behalf. I appreciate your um solidarity madness. <laughs> you know, I could handle it if there weren't such big dust clouds when the boulders landed. Yeah. So I could actually see what was going on. Again, this game is very much telling players to go fuck themselves, and it's very annoying if you're actually legitimately wanting to play this game, you know? You died! I guess not. I thought you died, because you were... It, I, it gave I you an animation dead. of, like, flopping over. Yeah, I looked burnt or dead. Maybe I have to jump and grab. Nope. No. Yeah, looks like you got a pole vault. So it is pole vaulting. I just, once again, mis-aimed because I was distracted by... Oh, I mean, it everything. doesn't help that, like, you've got, like, a bunch of obstacles in your face, not just the wolves, but, you know, everything. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's uh, a there's a thing. A thing? What? Cave. You haven't been oh, in there. Oh, hey. Didn't see this earlier. Oh. Oh. What? I... I I guess we're loading a new, um... I, okay, <laughs> sure. All right, we're in the... They had to load a new part of the level. Oh, speaking of Legends of the Hidden Temple. We are in um the Legend of Zelda now. Ooh, an unnecessary puzzle for unnecessary machinery. It's not a Sierra game without it. All okay, we got I is do have firewood. Though. Oh, oh we got look, silly, silly little guys. guys. <laughs> Yay! This is the best thing about this cave. No wolves, just silly little guys. I can handle the silly little guys so much more than I can handle the wolves. Yeah. It's easy to handle silly little guys like this. Yeah. Because all they do is hop around. Okay. Anyway, there's a thing up here that's clearly a machine part. Gold Gold shank head. shank head. Why does everything in this game sound so dirty? (laughs) Listen, somebody at Sierra working on this game was just extra horny that night. And was just like, I got to get this all out before I go home. I, I I can't. I can't bring this home with me. I was talking a while ago about how part of the reason there was so much gay shipping around Lord of the Rings is because there's just zero sexuality in Middle Earth. So mm-hmm. audiences have to project sexuality where they can find it. And 
says there are a lot more male relationships than female relationships. Every male relationship is portrayed as like a huge close bond with each other. Mm. And that can be easily interpreted as a romantic bond rather yes. than like, you know, a platonic bond or something. That being said, um, Sam and Frodo for life. But it's bold that the makers of this game instead decided to add sexuality to Middle Earth <laughs> just by adding gold shank everywhere. Gold shank arm. Phallic looking pillars. Just phallic objects everywhere. Bilbo on stripper poles. Ropes that look like stripper poles anyway. And the dwarves are all wet. We gotta get that wood. We're so wet. Oh, <laughs> What move is that? That that reach he's doing there? That that is a very Disney I want more look and move. Yeah. I want to be where that other vine is. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could just climb up there. Yeah, up, that up, that works. Is it just like more or I you could just take damage? How did the fall kill you from that height? That's ridiculous. Uh, I've definitely fallen from higher than that in this game. I miss the silly little guys. They definitely brought some They brought some light. Falling or, you know, damage. You could die again and again. Yeah. I think that's the most insulting way to die in this game. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it's it's not like there's and there's nothing killing you. There's no rocks. There's no wolves. There's not even a silly little guy or two to, like, keep pelting you. I had this um, poetry book growing up from this um, British author and poet, Colin something another. Mm -hmm. And it was, like, a bunch of, like, poems and stuff, like, funny poems. And one of them was, like... Like, a third-rate ventr ventriloquist walks into the bar. Bartender's like, what'll it be? And the third-rate ven ventriloquist goes, a gold gear and a gag and gutch. Every now and then I think of that particular book just because it was just, like, a lot of... In a way, it shaped my sense of humor, humor, and I can't even remember what the book was called. I would, frankly, love to get work as a third-rate ventriloquist. Tedious well, at least there's an abyss and not like a ledge that looks like you cannot take fall damage from. Yeah. At least if you die, you die with dignity. This is making me nostalgic for the old ways I used to die in this game. <laughs> okay, so pole vaulting is <laughs> overshooting it. Yeah, just it, it was like you're too overconfident. Go fuck yourself. Die in a fire, you cocky bastard. <laughs> okay, that time I undershot it. <laughs> This is the fun part of this game, is confusing the camera. I hope there's more silly little guys that you get to fight. Hey, another save slot right after... Uh... Oh no, this is where you came from. Yeah. Just in case something happened, like you, you took some sort of damage. You know when they have like two save points in a row, nothing bad is going to happen to you. Yeah, that's why all those mushrooms are there, right? Because there's yeah. nothing bad here. Do I have to do them in the right order? There we go. Ah, there we go. I feel like this machinery is more elaborate than the goblins were. I mean, maybe I'm in part of a an abandoned dwarf mine here because you know the misty mountains moria mm -hmm. were kind of in similar territory yeah oh is this outside <laughs> everything else that. has been great but this is where you draw the line okay so it's dwarf there technology. you go all manner of vile creatures and silly little guys roam these halls <laughs> don't forget the silly little guys of course not. Where are the silly little guys? Bring me silly little guys. I seek the silly. That could be another shirt for token adaptation month. <laughs> it needs more silly little guys. Oh, I oh. see. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. Whew. I could have been dangerous. Nope, no danger here. Just an abandoned dwarf mine. Yeah. The damage you take here is just fall damage. Give me silly little guy damage. You spoiled us on silly little guys earlier. <laughs> and I was expecting more of them. Where are they? We got a tease of silly little guys, and now you are, frankly, letting <laughs> us down. You're withholding the silly little guys from us. It really does throw into sharp relief how um, absurd platform games are <laughs> when, you, then... when you like when you set one in a world that was so specifically crafted to feel realistic in the original text and then to, to Bilbo have... yeah. platformed in the old abandoned dwarf mine everywhere to keep from drowning and then he fought some silly little guys Ooh, a copper shank there... arm more machinery 
Is that where it goes though? Hang on, go go back over there. Right there. Does that unleash? No, I thought that was gonna unleash some silly little guys. <laughs> no, it just created a new ledge for me. Not to another on. stupid platform. Boo. All it was was just another brick in the wall. Medium copper gear required. Why do we need stones? Yeah, can I have Where? a medium copper gear and uh and uh, supersized you with gear. no I wonder if it could be the pieces you already found, you dumbass. All right, looks like you need one more, which is Well, there's right one right over there. there. Or not. Think, you need I think I need another shank head. Yeah, a copper shank head. Why was the camera just having some <laughs> sort of an attack? It couldn't handle how horny this game got. <laughs> You ever think maybe we're the ones with the dirty minds? <laughs> Are we the baddies? <laughs> Are we the silly little guys? <laughs> this might just be like gems and money, but... Might as well give it a shot. Gems and money, the Elon Musk story. So what kind of a dwarf apartheid led to these uh, <laughs> minds being like this? What kind of child labor does he use for these mines? Ah, there's the shank. Copper shank head. <laughs> Copper shank head and I don't care. Skip to my loo, my darling. Oh, what shank head is this? Metallic. Metallic. Metallica. The Metallica. <laughs> Master. Master of shank heads. Or, you know, you could drown too. He drowns <sighs> so quickly is the thing. Like, he doesn't sink. He just, he just drowns above water. I thought there's there was the going to be more enemies around here. Yeah, because, you know, Gandalf said there's a bunch of foul creatures down there. There's nothing. There's not even, like, a wolf or, like, one of those armadillos that you were fighting in the, I forgot the caves. About the, yeah, I forgot about the armadillos. <laughs> now I am king of all I survey. This looks like a pile of junk. What did I inherit? What about that shadowy place? It's all shadowy place. <laughs> You're king of shadows now, Bilbo. Deal with it. Um... Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins, king of the shadow frontier. Turn around a little bit more. Turn around, bright eyes. Yeah. Every now and then I fall apart. We can they give it could a have old... worked on this game more. But they yeah, didn't. You know, but then they wouldn't have been able to rush it out to cash in on the Jackson movies. Exactly. Is that a button? <laughs> it's <laughs> no. falling to my death. No, it's it's just drowning. Every now and then I fall into the abyss. Um, try pole vaulting over to that ledge. Where the, the gem the, is, or, or not where, where the, the gem is. is. The one, the one where the, the one, one in the next middle there. To, yeah, the one in the middle. <laughs> or you know, we can take fall damage and just die anyway. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's very simple we are wet and we need wood we are going to continue to be wet until we get our wood god fucking damn it let's see what happens if i go down here if i vault across there if i escape from vault bilbo that way this is it's the companion podcast to escape from vault disney I just read a chapter from a Tolkien book chosen completely at random. <laughs> so now we need a small gear and a head. Yeah. I need me, we need us some metallic head. <laughs> okay, so we need to get some head and... <laughs> You know, I usually keep my scripted content like PG, PG-13. The Patreon it's live... It's too freaking e It's too easy. It's the too easy. The Patreon live streams are apparently where I let loose. Again, this thing isn't doing you favors. These devs. As long as we have some something to blame. What if this game worked by like Oregon Trail rules where just oh, like the party God. could just die? Thorin died from dysentery. Oh, those look like enemies over there, but that looks like somewhere I'm getting after I lower this bridge. Bring me the silly little guys. Are those silly little guys or are they um, big scary guys? <laughs> That's not helpful. They look like silly little guys. Our favorite silly little guys. I hope they are silly little guys because <laughs> yeah, I, know yeah. that's, I know that's the Mystery Shack look back way, but it's harder to do on a live stream. <laughs> Small metallic gear required. Small metallic gear required. Bang, bang. I am the burglar. Well, looky here. That's helpful. I'm getting very claustrophobic here with these camera angles. That's what they're there for. Yeah. Okay, there we Sierra, are. Sierra, we have goal. to give our players claustrophobia or we failed in some way. Finally, we get to some silly little guy content on this. <laughs> we have been depriving our public of silly little guy. There they are. It, there they are. 
Yes! See you later, guys. Yes! It's just the way they hop back and forth, you know? <laughs> the way they hop from side to side. There's They're something very so satisfying funny. about the silly little guys. They're just silly little guys, and I love them. And I, and I only took, like, one little thing of damage from that battle. Yeah, they're I guess easy this is to kill. A key, but the cell shading on it is bizarre. Troll key. <laughs> and the Another thing I one. need it for is right here. So what was the point of it? Anything else over here? Nope. Into the hole. There's the troll hole. Found an actual troll hole. I wasn't expecting such a bright cartoony platforming game based on my favorite childhood book, to be so boring. Yeah. I was not expecting this game to be good, but I was expecting it to be more interesting than it is. I feel like and I've been here. there have been, like, honestly, the most fun part of this game was level one, just going around the Shire when there weren't any, like, enemies or anything. Yeah, nothing killing you. It was just, like, exploring the Shire in a platformy context. I'm not going to bother with that uh, that chest down there. Yeah. Okay, so the green ones are the ones that move, I guess. I got that firewood! Oh, fuck you. I won't even put that in my memoir then. Gandalf, why aren't you acknowledging my feelings? <laughs> Validate me, Gandalf! Validate me! Gandalf is all take and no give in his relationships. Goblin! <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, they're, they're just doing goblin. the lyrics of, of whip of Whoa! Whip oh, what, what, what? What? That was abrupt. What? Okay, I'm gonna skip and just start attacking. You know, Gandalf, you can be more powerful than this. I believe the way this is described in the text is like there was a blinding flash and something like three goblins were dead immediately. So why do I need to help? Cause Bilbo. You're the protagonist in this video game. Those rocks are definitely not going to fall. Now we've yes. entered Wizards 101! Stop those goblins! There's more about you than meets the eye, Mr. Baggins. The Hobbit, more than meets the eye. You finally have that fucking firewood, Bilbo! How did you run so far ahead so fast, Gandalf? Confusticated firewood! <laughs> uh, 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 good luck. <laughs> That's it? Just just strike him down right there. Go fuck yeah. yourself, Bofer. <laughs> if I get you close to him and press attack, it just triggers talk. I wish you could just wa try throwing a stone at him. Eh, I don't want to waste stones on that. Anyway, I'm not at all concerned about the fact that we just met goblins in this cave. It's fine. We killed them. Well, I thought I took care of them with that rock maneuver anyway. Hey, We did it! Or you did it! Uh, it was a group effort because everyone else had to sit through it. <laughs> <laughs> a cartoony ass. <sighs> I feel like that's like a Naruto facial expression. <laughs> yeah, that, that's an anime ass expression. We're, we're in theory getting to... Gollum now, Riddles in the Dark. Yeah, yeah, there we go. But why do I have the sneaking suspicion that it's just going to be spending the level trying to find Gollum, and then when it actually gets to Gollum, it'll just be, you know, text and illustration. It's like, they played Riddles, and then Bilbo <laughs> found a ring. I feel like there has to be more to it. You, you gotta... I would hope so, but they skip past Rivendell so quickly. I do like that Sting does make it glow. The L's for this glowing blade. Thank the maker. Oh, those aren't silly little guys. No, those are scary flying guys. <laughs> Boo! Bring back the silly little guys. Nope, it's all fire bats now, apparently. I'm sure I'm supposed to hit them with rocks, but... Um... Yeah. <laughs> Remember how Thank easy it was to learn your ABCs? Thank the elves. They invented Thank the them. the Nation. Oh, those are like the... Those oh, are those... the things... I forgot about those things. The Hydra. You, the things that you get up on the Hydra's back. Yeah. Thank the elves for this glowing balls. Maybe sure. it's not the developers that had a dirty mind. Maybe we did. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. Thank you, Taylor. Yeah, Dave is actually Taylor Swift. I am Taylor Swift, and I cut myself in line for Everest ten years ago. <laughs> Oh, huh. this looks like, this looks spidery. I don't like this. Yeah. I don't like this. This looks very spidery. Spiders aren't supposed to come till Mirkwood. Well, but too again, bad. Sting wasn't supposed to be named until Mirkwood either. Oh. Oh, that's just little spiders. It's just silly little spides. <laughs> silly little spides. They're not 
that's the little guys though, because they're spiders. Hey, there look, is, goblins. There was a lot more going on in this part of the cave than there was in the book. And then Bilbo fought some spiders in the cave before he met Gollum. There was also a shit ton of technology, apparently. There were gates and supplies. And the silly little guys were no longer in there for whatever reason. Bilbo missed his silly little guys. <laughs> I'm Bilbo Baggins. Hello. Hello. What the fuck? I am Balfour of the Iron Hills. Balfour? Balfour? Was Balfour in the books? Not that I recall. It might be a name from Tolkien, but I do not recognize it. Bribe the guard at the main gate. Bri <laughs> Bribery. <laughs> Free me from the goblin jail. Oh, oh, and one of those. It's like, what's the meme with the three-headed hydra and one of them has a goofy face? <laughs> I hope that none of those goblins I murdered was the one I was supposed to bribe. Uh... I take back everything I said about Peter Jackson padding out the book too much. And then He's Bilbo gotten... went through this weird-ass contraption just to bribe the gate man from this guy that be... doesn't show up in all books. I seem to be stuck behind an invisible wall. <laughs> Treadmill Bilbo. It's a Ferris wheel. My father was in contraptions. Oh, that's what he had. <laughs> or, you know, you could uh, die. Yeah, this level has honestly given me more damage than any other. Or it's just given me fewer mushrooms. What if Bilbo died that way in the book? <laughs> and then Bilbo died in this Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom ass dungeon thing. Frodo of the Nine Fingers. And the Temple of Doom. <laughs> Christ. Surely there's a mushroom somewhere. There's a wheelbarrow. If we only had a wheelbarrow, that would be something. Okay, here's my goal. My goal is just to get to Gollum, and then we'll call it a night on this stream. <laughs> Could I tell you how much longer it will be before we get to Gollum? Of course not. We should have gotten to him by now if we were following the book. And what? Bombs? <laughs> Who invited Bombs? This game is clearly designed for children. I am 35 well, no, years okay. old, and I am failing at it. But if this was designed for children, I feel like children would just get frustrated and quit. Then again, I was a child that got frustrated easily and quit at things. <laughs> Slash it and bash it! I do like oh, how it's just, it. it's just been universally agreed upon that orcs are cockney. We're all cockney! What's all this, Dan? This would be the point where I had to, where what I would have had to ask my mom for help on the game. You know, what else should have happened by now in the book is Bilbo should have found the ring, which would have been real fucking useful. Right? <laughs> I tell you what I'm doing for the 20th anniversary of this game next year is one final round of Tolkien Adaptation Month, probably where I don't play this game anymore. You just talk about how frustrating as hell this is. I didn't think this would be good, but I thought it might be weird in a more fun way than this. This year for Tolkien Month as I did last year, just because this year, uh, November was a little more complicated this year, but um, thanks to everyone who enjoyed uh, everything of Tolkien Month that happened this year, and, uh, and thanks for continuing to support the stuff on Patreon, everyone, and uh, yeah, thanks for indulging my silly nonsense. <laughs> May there be more silly little guys next token adaptation month. Hashtag justice for silly little guys. <laughs> and uh, until next time, have a good night, everyone. And uh, may we all find silly little guys in our hearts. Ooh.